Oh, Cole, a new opportunity for you here in Atlanta. I'm curious what your early reactions have been now getting a chance to mingle with your new teammates here today at ChopFest. Oh, it's always good. Um, you know, just to kind of see uh, there, there's some familiarity uh, with some of these guys here. Uh, and then it is. There's always going to be new faces. And it's just, it's always exciting, I think, in this kind of, you know, time, you know, of where I'm at and, and how long I've been able to play. Uh, you know, you just, you try to be as receptive as possible. And, and it's great to see great talent and this team. Uh, has tremendous talent, and uh, you know I've, I've, you know, heard great things uh, from Alex and, and what they've been trying to accomplish and what they've been trying to build, and, and to be able to, uh, you know, be somebody that they wanted me to to, to fit in here is, uh, you know, kind of a, a blessing, and and uh, very thankful for it. It's it's just nice to you know be a part of uh, of a team that really wants to go out there and win, and and that's something at my point. Uh, that's all I want to do, uh, just kind of getting back to, to an opportunity to be in the World Series and, and to bring a championship. So it's, it's, there's nothing better than being able to do that, and you know whatever I can possibly do to uh, make sure that happens, uh, I'll do it. You were a part of some really, really good starting rotations in Philly. You had a chance to work with Roy Halladay and Cliff Lee and, and others. How much did you benefit? How much did you learn from your time around those guys as a younger player? Uh, I think it helps significantly. I think as, as an organization, um, you know, you, you're always going to be trying to develop uh, the next sort of superstar pitcher, mm -hmm. but there's more that goes into it with you know veteran leadership and experience uh, that sometimes kind of gets gets missed. And I think it's getting recognized a lot more. Uh, and it was it helped me become who I was. Uh, when you're around those types of players that that have that sort of experience, it's it's a lot better to be able to talk to them and their experiences uh, out on the field. Uh, that you know they're. The, the sort of uh, trials and, and uh, anything and everything that they've gone through and they can kind of give you some insight. Uh, you, you try to be as receptive as possible because you're going to get yourself in a situation and you're going to have to try to get out of it. Uh, and if you have some sort of information or somebody that's right by you that's been there that can help you get through it, uh, there's a lot more opportunity for success. And, and that's uh, you know where I'm, where I'm at and trying to be able to do for, for a lot of these guys. Uh, and it's, uh, it's always fun. And, and, and I think uh, when you're with young guys too, it, it, the internal competition, mm -hmm. uh, it, it brings something a little bit out of, uh, out of everybody. And, and I look forward to being able to do that with these guys uh, day in and day out. I know, I'm sure you've seen these guys from afar, what Mike Soroka has accomplished, mm -hmm. what Max Fried has accomplished. Matter of fact, Brian McCann said, Max Fried reminds me of a young Cole Hamels last season. But when you think about the youth that's in this rotation and then you know, being a veteran yourself, you feel like there's a good balance with this staff? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, you have to. And you know, that's, that's something that's pretty special. They, they've got tremendous talent, like you said. Uh, and uh, to be able to pitch with those guys in between, uh, you know, somewhere in that rotation, uh, wherever we line up, I think we're we're just going to try to bring out the best in each other, and and uh, it really, at the end of the day, I mean, guys are going to be uh, chasing down uh, a lot of uh, accolades because of the talent they have, and and uh, I know ultimately the goal is to, to win a World Series, and they have they have what it takes, and so it's you know for me to you know kind of jump on their backs. Uh, because it, it is, they're, they're going to be the ones that carry this team. And uh, you just have to be able to be there for them uh, and help kind of push them in the right direction so that they kind of stay with it. Cole Hamill is joining us here from Chop Fest 2020 on 680 The Fan. Let's talk about the, the lineup you're going to have behind you because obviously you faced a lot of these guys in the, the course of your career. But now you have Freddie Freeman on your side, you have Marcelo Zuna. I see you smiling. I'm sure that's a relief not having to face those guys, right? It is. They, they've got a tremendous lineup. Uh, and that's, you know, as a pitcher, you, you know that when you have guys that are going to be able to uh, score runs, uh, especially if you give up some runs here late in the game, you know they're going to answer the call and they're going to try to get it back. And this is this is a type of team that that will be able to do so. Uh, there's there's this just it's it's more of a re relaxing feeling out on the mound. You don't have to press or stress as much uh, because you you know it's not they're not going to be a lot of one nothing games. Mm -hmm. uh, there there's going to be some runs scored and and you know even. Besides that, the defense they have is, is pretty incredible, and, and that's uh, I, like I said, it's it's a pitcher's best friend. When you have good defense behind you, uh, we're going to get ourselves out of a lot of jams because of that. Uh, and it is you just kind of get into a better zone. I know the oblique was an issue for you last season. How's it feeling? Where are you from a health standpoint going into the new season? Oh, good, good. Yeah, no, it's obliques are uh, they're not fun. Yeah. I, I've, I've done uh, both sides now. Um, you know, but it is because of that. Uh, you just try to identify your weaknesses and, and what you have to do in correcting it, mm -hmm. uh, and that's kind of what I've been able to do. Got into a, you know a lot more, uh, some better information on, on how to train, 
uh, and then it's just putting in the time to do it. And uh, that's something where, you know, in doing so, I can be back to normal and uh, kind of uh, let people know what to expect.